my flow in the deed. Independent of your home value. And there's more. Paul, uh, that starts and then talk to you. So we're probably more like three minutes. You, I'll give you a 30 second warning. And no, give me a 60 second warning. <laughs> Thank you. Again, for now on, I'm going to try to come inside during longer breaks and charge my Bluetooth IFP so I can last all day. Every bit helps. To receive a free information kit about reverse mortgages and the flexible payment feature, just call the number on your screen or go online and visit flexreverse.com. Stop so they won't have an accurate measurement of the windscreen, will they? If somehow they can use the tap into the, the, uh, the About a minute 45 to you guys. About a minute 45 to you guys. 10-4. Yeah. They can tap into the airport radar. We'll see. Okay, Paul, just a quick update here all the observations of the airports are down and both radars are now down. Fantastic. <laughs> I'll just eyeball it, don't worry about me. <laughs> you don't have an animal. Do you have a little animal? Oh, <laughs> you know, really, because I was you know, already home for two days. And then, uh, That's good. It looks good. It looks good. It yeah, it really does look good. It looks a lot lighter than it is out here in reality. <laughs> Brad's worried about the damn light. I'm like, don't worry about the light. Oh, could you buzz? Show Brad the thing. I will.
exactly, Marie, uh, Stephanie. And uh, the big problem now is the radar is no longer reporting images. Hopefully it's still working and maybe even the National Weather Service can get that data. We just can't get it to you on air right now. It stopped re giving us signals about 5.50 a.m. this morning, so almost an hour ago. And that was as the eye was making landfall. Northern Iowa definitely making landfall on the southeast coast of this island. And I don't know if we can actually pull up the single site radar and kind of show people where that radar is, because the radar here for Puerto Rico is on kind of that uh, southeastern half of the island. So it's still about maybe 15 miles or so away from San Juan, but it's a lot closer to the northern and northwestern eye wall of Maria, at least at the time when it, when it stopped reporting. And including all the other weather reporting stations on this half of the island, they've also stopped reporting. And the last wind gust we had at the airport here in San Juan was 91 miles per hour. And again, that was about an hour ago as well. So it continues to increase. And here's the thing, if you're watching us from Puerto Rico, stay where you are, shelter in place here. We've got 3.5 million uh, American citizens here on this island. It's the territory of the U.S. And we had a pretty tough uh, road with Irma about a week and a half ago doing quite a bit of damage. Unfortunately, some people are still without power and even running water because of Irma. And now we're having a direct hit uh, with Maria. And from now, basically through, say, 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we will still be dealing with wind gusts easily in excess of oh, 90 miles per hour. Uh, so it's it's not going to be any better until perhaps the sun starts to set tonight. So from sunrise to sunset, we're going through the heart of Maria here in uh, San Juan. And again, I'm amazed that I'm somewhat protected and I'm dealing with wind gusts this strong here. Uh, so again, shelter in place. We have a place steps away that I can get to and get out of this wind. Jen? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, A, it's a little bit lighter, but unfortunately the winds are even stronger, so I'm actually a little farther away from the camera by about maybe 20 feet, but the winds are a lot stronger and consistently gusting to where they can actually knock me off my feet, which basically means, you know, 70 plus mile per hour wind gusts. And again, I keep saying we're protected from the heart of the wind and it's gusting this strong where we are. Jen? I nearly busted my ass. <laughs> you notice I stepped away from the pool. <laughs> All right, that was a pretty strong gust. That was a pretty strong gust. I, I to, saw you go down, I went, whoa. I had to I step it. away from the pool. Just wait for a good gust, and you go into the pool, right? It blows you into the pool, and then I'll run after I'll dive in. <laughs> It'll be great TV! <laughs> if you got blown into the pool, that'd be, that'd be better than Dan Rather. Than. <laughs> my first, my first step went in, this way, we're in the pool. <laughs> you just stick your hand up. I saw you go down like that. The protect the wife. Yeah, yeah, protect the mic. <laughs> yeah, I'll run up, get the mic, and come back over. Got it. <laughs> Save the equipment. No, do them. Just run over there and get the mic. Okay, okay, I'm on. <laughs> Next one up. You guys have a scuba diving background. There you go. It's all good. I'm trying to work around. Are you going to cross the street here? Uh, I might. I have to have them. So I'm going to try to get some. Be careful, it's a marina, but I am going to be curious to see what these folks look like after. Yeah. I filmed that one. Carmody, what's my flow here? I still want to know where that, that piece of debris came from. I, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's not good. Okay.
mic. Okay. <laughs> when he comes back, he'll be up, but he's unconscious now. <laughs> but you got me. I'm on the floor. It's okay. Oh, I think his body has protection. That's a good thing. <laughs> Send me an email on that. You said 30 seconds, I think, right? 2.30. How much time? Crazy. What'd you say? Stand closer to, like, like right in between the, the island there? Yeah, yeah, like right in there, yeah. Oh, okay. Hey there, Jen. Again, I'm not surprised they made landfall. That's about just 20, 22 minutes ago or so. Because again, the winds have been extremely strong here, and it was making landfall as that uh, the center of the eye was going through an eye wall replacement cycle, which means we're going to see perhaps not just uh, the eye wall of uh, Maria come through here in San Juan. We could see the old eye wall come as well. So it's not just again with this hurricane, not just a single point. It is a, a decent wind field with this system coming on through here. Uh, the re weather reporting stations, this half of the island, have gone out. Again, with the wind so strong, power, at least to our hotel, went out around 1.30 this morning. We're on generator uh, since then, and we've been getting stronger and stronger winds. And I have to keep telling you that we're on the back side of our hotel, the Hyatt Place, running on generator, and we're somewhat protected from the wind, and we're still getting the winds gusting well over 70 miles per hour back here, and that's on the protected side. I can see on the uh, front side of the hotel, which, uh, which is unprotected, the winds and the palm trees are not just blowing sideways. Some of them, the palm fronds are blowing upward. That's how strong this wind is out here, not to mention the, the heavy rain coming through as well. So uh, we don't only have that wind threat. We have that heavy rain potential, and flash flood warnings are up for most of the eastern half uh, of this island. And as always, just like we do in the States, when we have a landfalling hurricane, the big concern is also is tornadoes. So that's also a threat we have to watch here throughout the rest of today. Jen?
it's really hard to tell because of how strong the winds are. But even just some of the outer bands yesterday, uh, late morning hours coming on through uh, San Juan were enough to cause some puddles to form and uh, even ri rivers to kind of flow in some of the gutters. That's how uh, saturated the ground is. Again, we had Irma coming through here and dumped a lot of rain, so it won't take that much more to hit the ground and immediately run off because the ground is already saturated. You combine that with these strong winds, there are a lot of trees that are now in very soft in, uh, ground, so those roots can give way and start toppling over. They had a big concern with that with Irma. A lot of trees coming down, bringing down power, also blocking roads. We saw numerous trees that have been chainsaw just to clear ways, even up highways around San Juan. So again, that's another concern is the ground is already saturated, Jen, so flash flooding, even mudslides, still a huge concern today and even tomorrow. You know, my biggest concern is the people. With, with part of it, we had a combination of the eyewall hitting uh, Rockport and, and Port Aransas, Aransas County, which devastated some of the community. But then we also have the flood concerns with Houston, and that was something that I've never seen, even living and working in Houston years ago. I've never seen flooding on that magnitude, that scale, uh, before. Uh, with uh, Irma, it was definitely a concern uh, for the winds coming in there to Naples, but. Those areas were built to withstand uh, the surge was really strong because of the way that the, the eye went. Here for Maria, the big concern is we already had a glancing blow with Irma, and now we have a direct hit uh, with Maria with winds. Again, Cat 4, Cat 5 variety. Big concern for this life and limb here across this island. We'll have more from San Juan coming up this morning. What's my time?
Check, check, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four. You have me? You have me, do you have me? Check, three, four, five. You did? That's good. So let me get my two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Let me uh, zip up to get the proper uh, reading here. Give me a second. You got me, Carmody? And I'm zipped up and about to head outside. Yeah. Tell them warning it might not be as clear as that. Okay, my mic is probably not going to be as good. Guess we had to switch. Check, check, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Mic's good? All right, what am I doing, Carmody? Welcome back to Hurricane Central here on the Weather Channel. I'm meteorologist Paul Dibble live in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and we are being uh, buffeted by strong winds from Hurricane Maria. It made landfall about a half hour or so ago on the southeastern coastline uh, of this country. Again, uh, this country home to 3.5 million Americans here. Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory, and now they are dealing with the first landfall of a Category 4 hurricane, 1932. The winds here are only increasing as the eye wall gets closer. We're going through an, eye, an old eye wall, then the new eye wall as we head throughout the rest here today. Now we're at the Hyatt place. We lost power about 1.30. We have a generator here that kicked on. And I'm actually standing on the back side of the hotel, which believe it or not is more protected than the front side. We have a bunch of the winds here. So it's a protected area, but we're still dealing with wind gusts well in excess of 70 miles per hour and the strongest part of the hurricane continues to march towards this area. Uh, the, the radar here out of Puerto Rico stopped reporting uh, about an hour ago, so it continues to be a, a changing situation. We can't bring you the latest radar because of that. We're using satellite now, but again, Maria has already made landfall here as a Cat 4 hurricane at 6.15 this morning on the southeastern coast, and it continues to churn across uh, this eastern half of the island and we'll be in the thick of this wind and the rain for quite some time. The wind starts to abate sometime uh, around sunset this evening, but the rain will stick around into Thursday. And then again, mudslides and flooding, another big concern as well as surge with this hurricane. Jen? concerned is the strongest winds are coming this way. So we're kind of in the back of the hotel and now we're seeing some swirling winds on the back side. And the big concern is anything coming this way. You can see the, uh, the former ceiling fans from this pool kind of bar gazebo area. They have been just ripped to shreds. They had them tied down to some uh, pool umbrella stands. And these things weigh probably about 80 pounds. And that was no match for the winds gusting on the back side of this hotel. So again, we're somewhat protected. Our biggest concern are palm trees. Again, I got a helmet on. It's going to definitely protect the head. And also my crew is keeping an eye on anything like that could be blowing behind me. So again, we do have the parking lot and mainly just trees, which are upwind for me in this direction. But remember, the predominant wind is coming this way. So I can see off of my distance the uh, palm trees blowing that way and we're getting the winds at times from my back so it's not nearly as strong as it would be if I was out 
exposed to the full brunt of Maria. And trust me, we have no plans to do that. It is just not safe doing that. Jen? Frickin' roof, that, just the roof. That roof and that roof. So I can have to careful. You can actually. You want to go out that far? You can actually see it. Okay. Yeah. Get your helmets on. Get your helmets on. Get your helmet on. The roof. Watch the roof are blowing off. Making sure they put their helmets on. What was that, Carmody? What is that? Uh, styrofoam insulation on top of the roof. So what's underneath that? <laughs> Sixth floor. <laughs> Watch your helmet. Big, uh, big air came off, big piece. So watch out. Yeah, yeah, we're not going out. I mean, the roof is. Yeah, well, but I don't want it. Parts of the roof are flying off. This is on yeah. the roof. Yeah, it's just big piece landed right next to it. I just want to give you a heads up. Wow. Yeah, we're not going out. Yeah. Uh, wait till uh, wait till things clear off the roof. Hey, Michelle, come stand over here and just keep an eye out up here. I'll scream as loud as I can. Yeah. Can you go off the shoulder? Uh, yeah. That way hey, Carmody, I haven't heard anything. Okay. You still there? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I haven't heard anything. Yeah. They, they just talked to me. I don't hear a program, but they did talk to me. We're hooked up. Okay, okay. Just haven't had it talk to me. We're good.
Wow. Great, 145. 145. You want to put the camera down for a minute. 145. Okay. We're going off the shoulder here, so give us as much. 130. Oh. Ninety. We are. We are getting the thick of it here. Yes. Yes. Is there a bobble? Bobble in one minute. Yabukoa. Is that how you pronounce the landfall? Wow, the top of those palm trees gone. Two. Steph, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy out here. We have debris going everywhere out here. Again, this is like light styrofoam uh, covering of the roof here. We're here seeing this kind of slam down, but it's not just that. Now we're starting to see that looks like some drywall as well. Probably the, the part of the roof underneath that styrofoam that's also slamming down here. Uh, we've actually gotten out of the wind in the shelter. In fact, I'm going to try to ease out and come on out, Brad. You can see part of the roof here, whatever was covering that is flapping on the side of the hotel here. It's about to give way. So let's head back under the, under the covering, Brad. Again, we're seeing all types of debris coming off of this roof here and then swirling on the backside of this hotel. And a lot of it is landing in the roof. Again, we're on the backside. So follow me. I'm kind of talk about the side of the hotel where some of the strongest winds are. Again, there is debris flying everywhere. Small bits of debris here as well. Hold on, hold on. Oh, that big piece of uh, covering just gave way. It's moved away now. Now, yeah, stand in there, Brent. I'll come out here. I can keep an eye on it. Now, look over the fence. Look at the tops of the palm trees here, gone, because the predominant wind has been coming this way. Again, we're seeing, we're feeling winds this way because we're on the backside of the hotel, but the dominating winds outside protection have been going out this way from the northeast ripping apart the tops of those palm trees. Again, uh, these things are built to last uh, tropical storm and hurricane force winds, and there's barely uh, even a piece of the palm frond on those things. 
as well. Again, that's a light piece of styrofoam flying this way, so that's why we are taking shelter underneath this overhang to protect us. It continues to get gustier and gustier. And here's the thing, the sun has just gone up about an hour ago, and we will see the winds extremely strong for the next maybe six hours across this area. And we also got word from uh, Jim East, a storm track chaser, who sang at a hotel that part of the air conditioning unit on the roof has come down into uh, the parking lot as well. Fortunately, we actually moved our cars to a uh, to the parking garage. Okay, we're hearing pieces of metal coming down. You can see across by the bar, there's something flopping over there. Again, too dangerous to actually head out there and see what it is. But we continue to see the winds increase, increase. So, bottom line, the whole point of life insurance is never have to use it. We are and my crew are going inside because it's just too safe to be out here anymore. Uh, again, if uh, we do see the sound of the eye wall, winds go down, we'll come out here briefly. And then again, the rest of the reports will probably be from inside because it's just not safe to be out here anymore. Jen? Grab that.